Now, in these times of uncertainty, many are searching for spiritual answers to questions like, where is God in all of this? I spoke with the North County pastor about how to stand in faith and what the Bible says about how to fight our fears. So today I am joined now uh, with Dr. Henry Wilmerins, the senior pastor at the Promised Church in Escondido. And Pastor Henry, I want to thank you for joining me today. And you, I wanted you. to talk to you specifically about faith today. These are uncertain times. People are panicked. They're worried. They're scared. Uh, how do we choose faith over fear? Uh, Christina, thank you so much for having me on. First of all, let me share what I do in my personal life and what I've taught my congregation at the Promised Church to do. Um, we have to understand that we overcome fear and anxiety by believing God's word. It's not enough just to believe in God. We actually have to believe God. So when governments uh, run out of solutions, when uh, medical science can't find a vaccine and there's no solutions, God always has a solution. And that's why Jesus said, don't let your heart be troubled and don't be anxious about anything. But if we would pray about it, um, there is a solution and be thankful. Leave God has heard you when you prayed. The peace of God will come upon you and guard your heart and your mind. That's the bottom line. And, and you know, I, I love that answer. And see, and the thing is, is that sometimes even as believers, sometimes I'll hear uh, people uh, and they'll say, where, where is God in all of this? Well, you know, that is a, that's a really good question because um, we, we need to understand this, that God is not the author of this horrendous pandemic. In fact, Jesus gave us the insight to it when he said, the thief comes to kill, steal, and to destroy, talking about the devil. And he said, I've come to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. So God is the one bringing us the solutions. God is the one bringing us out of it. He's the one who brings healing to us, financial help while Satan is trying to kill, steal, and destroy. So God is actually a very present help in trouble. He's there for you. If you would believe, trust his word, he will bring you out of it. And, and so then I have a question because, you know, churches across the nation have been shut down. You know, the Promise Church in Escondido, you're holding services online just like many other uh, churches. Yes. When people start to even lose hope because of that, you know, how do they cope because now their churches are being shut down? Well, you know, we live in a, in a wonderful technical society where social media is available 24-7. There's so many plat platforms available that people can go at any time and find a great preacher and be encouraged. In fact, although our people are at home, we're making a big family thing out of it. We're having communion every week. We're having a part of our children's church, talk to, talk to the children. So we're making it a family event, and I think everybody understands what's going on, and we're looking forward to getting together again. But actually, we're not really suffering at all being separated except from the fellowship that we would have. Mm. And, and let me go back to another question. I realize I, I didn't even get to ask you this, but when... When people are starting to lose their jobs, they're starting to get laid off, um, yeah. you know, they're starting to worry about sickness. What, what do you have to say about that? What, what is your advice well, to believers? Okay, God offers divine protection and divine provision. Remember from the Old Testament, we have great stories about the three Hebrew boys throwing the fiery furnace that came out without the smell of smoke. We have Daniel in the lion's den. We have uh, the children of Israel being protected in the land of Goshen when the plagues were poured out upon them. And we have the great Psalm 91 that, that tells us that because we've made God our refuge, uh, that no plague will come near our dwelling. So we've got great protection scriptures if we believe them. And then even if you are believing that and you get sick, but that's not the end of the world because by the stripes of Jesus, the scripture says you're healed. He took our infirmities, he bore our sicknesses. So we can believe God for healing. And when it comes to finances, there's so many great scriptures that God promises to bless you and to help you, especially if you've been a joyful giver. Uh, the scriptures like Psalm 41, where it says that God will rescue you in the time of trouble and he will protect you and keep you alive. And he's, the New Testament says he's unwilling to abandon or do without a cheerful, joyful hmm. giver. Dr. So Warren, financially. I, and I, hate to, I hate to cut you off there, but we are running out of time. But this is, this is wonderful. If, if anyone wants to hear more of, of what you have to say, we are meeting online every Sunday on, the, on our Facebook page, The Promise uh, okay. Church San Diego. So, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me today. You, you, thank you for having me. God bless. Timely message now that we are entering Holy Week. Thank you for that. Still ahead, becoming full-time teachers. How